Hello, hello everyone and welcome to Divine Debut. How are you all? Today, the 30th of June of 2021, what's going on? It is a Wednesday today. It's also the day of the uh, Twin Flame Soulmate reading. Hello, Kathy. It's Wednesday. I hope that you're all in tune with what day it is because I'm not. <laughs> hope you're doing well. I just wanted to add uh, that. First of all, thank you to all for the love that you show, your support. Those of you that do not know, the Month Ahead Astrology on Patreon is up. Those of you that want to just go in and, you know, um, have a look at what that's about, you can either do that through Patreon or through a link beneath this video where it will take you to my website. Okay, we do go for, oh, well... We go to, uh, I don't know, maybe even three hours, two and a half hours as we go into each individual sign and how it affects you. The whole month, astrology ahead of July. All right, everyone. What else did I want to tell you? Oh, beautiful energies ahead. Yes, plus we've got the difficult energies as Mars is uh, triggering uh, a lot of aggravation um, Mars wants to move forward in Leo and he's he has Saturn and Uranus right connecting all in a T square this is very much uh, a you know the pot is boiling it is boiling um, that's why I keep saying the temperature is rising but Venus now having entered into Leo the two lovers of the zodiac it's moving through the sign of Leo for the whole month of July will be very, very interesting, very exciting, beautiful energies. Some beauty has come into our life finally, everyone, after all the challenges that we've all been through from the beginning of 2021. I am very, very excited about this. So obviously everyone has Leo somewhere in their chart. So, and of course, it does not only mean love, it does speak to values, money, Right, the ability to create, having the guts, having the courage to move forward with whatever it is you want to manifest. Remember, Leo is the heart. Okay, this is also a very good time. Ooh, okay, Eros is standing across from Megas. They're both males, and Eros is not happy. They're both males, so Eros is not happy about Mega. Mega, you could stay up here. Okay. He's a very cheeky one. We should have called him Mars, Ares, because he's very much the fighter. Well, Megas is very similar. But yeah. Eros. Eros is about to jump on uh, Megas, and he's usually a very placid cat very soft gentleman like oh um yeah but it's co uh, competition i mean this is my turf that's how the astrology is as well everyone so let's see what's going on as megas is sitting on my lap now protecting him eros is walking away okay so this is very similar to saturn the older right Eros, Cupid, he's the elder, he's cat number one and cat number three, Uranus, through Taurus, is obviously in square, okay, who's going to win, the old or the new, and that could speak to uh, collective energy as well, what's going on today, I'm taking three cards as yesterday, I am working and they're being uploaded, the July readings everyone, and they're going to be extended. So thank you for your patience. They will be extended through Patreon and through my website. Let's see what's going on. So in the past, Seven of Cups, Pisces energy, lots of choices, a lot of confusion. Mega is just watching my hands moving. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, which we had yesterday. Uh, 
Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Lots of choices, lots of confusion also. I'm going to say this because this is Pisces. If this is Virgo, this is the same axis. Mutable energy. Remember, we've got a lot of confusion about where we're heading. The mutable signs have been um, tortured, let's say, by the eclipses. Okay, so lots of confusion. Things are up in the air. Okay, seven can speak to the chariot. Do I move? Do I stay? What do I do? And the outcome is the world, it looks like. Wow, the world is a card of success. No, you can't buy that. And you can't buy that. Agape more. Yeah, they're all my agapes. They're all my loves. <laughs> anyway, the world card is Saturn. It's not easy. It's the four fixed energies. I do feel that whatever this is, because this could be a business venture. This could have to do with your money. This could speak to a long-term investment or anything to do with a new home. Remember, that she's holding that Ace of Pentacles, which can mean anything. She's very motherly, very nurturing, of course. You're going to have to go down, mate. <laughs> and she's thinking of whether to move. What's going on? I mean, the world card does speak to success. So this is a beautiful, absolutely beautiful card. But because it's Saturnian, it's as though she's being ripped into, she's being challenged. As I said, everyone has those fixed signs, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, in their chart somewhere. So we are being challenged by that. But getting through this will lead to success. Now, this can have to do with world travel anything to do with matters of the world, the collective, going on that adventure, right? Remember, we've got Venus here. She is in a womb, okay? She's ready to be born. Love could be um, at a distance. Love could be um, difficult. She wants something long-term. She's very motherly, and she can be a mother as well. Okay, she's got the ability to create, obviously. She's very, I mean, Earth is very slow moving. So if you're expecting someone that you're dealing with, that it could have strong Earth in their chart, um, they're very slow moving. They need to be certain before they move forward. Okay. And we've got Eight of Wands. So the passion comes through messages quick movement after because this is in the now position she's really looking at if does she value this pentacle is it worth her having to do all this this challenge or she's been hoping for an ending of a karmic cycle forever um let's see eight of wands love messages communication through social media cupid's love arrows they're just falling from the sky just out of the blue i get that uranian energy here um, let's see what's going on 30th of june 2021 we have there is uh <laughs> the divine masculine uh, mars right this is a divine masculine figure now, um, D, D asked me um, if the Queen of Pentacles could be a divine masculine. Yes, it can be. You can swip, uh, swap the roles. This is a general reading. Hello, D. Always, always comments on the videos. There's so many of you uh, that are just so loyal. I really do want to thank you. And I enjoy the company. I do. So we've got... A divine masculine or someone that's taking on that energy we do have mars mars in leo we could be talking about a leo we could be talking about aries aries is ruled by mars scorpio as well could be anyone that is ready to take action someone that wants to move towards their desires right very sexually inclined as well as you could see and of course the Mars and Venus in Leo, they do speak to intimacy very strongly. And there's going to be a lot of babies born um, nine months after July. Mark that on your calendar. Wow. Wow, wow. Okay, goosebumps. 
Now we've got Mars is a it's a circle with an arrow, right? So it does have to do with a cycle. It does have to do with taking the masculine energy and moving towards it's you know I'm going to act and maybe even to bring changes uh, within a cycle that's been ongoing also someone wants to commit here okay someone wants to commit the ring does speak to a relationship more than likely and someone does want a long-term connection here we've got the home We've got the home here, which does speak to stability. It speaks to family. For some of you, a pregnancy also may trigger a, a, um, a commitment. So it could be that because of pregnancy, someone decides to take a commitment to, you know, to commit, if I can say. What's at the bottom here? And we've got the 17 transition, the birds. They do bring the child, they bring the baby, they bring the gift. The storks do speak to changes. Um, Mercury and Gemini, lots of messages. Okay, transition, movement, um, yearning, the, to, you know, yearning maybe to travel the world. Could be that you are physically um, separated from someone. This can speak to a new cycle as well. Oh, wow. King of Cups, Scorpio. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, everyone. Okay, someone is going to open their heart and speak truthfully from their heart. This is an offer, an offer that's going to make you happy. This is um, someone surrendering, surrendering. And we've got the King of Swords, someone that was um, detached, holding back. This could also be someone who's gone through divorce. Maybe they're now free. Maybe they're now free to move towards what they desire, what they want to create, build a new home, a new commitment here. We've got the sun behind the nest. And we've got the child, everyone. Newness after transformation. Number 13, Scorpio, right? Blockages, number 15. We we are talking about a leader, uh, motherhood, um, well, the, the bear is not an easy card. It's Mars in Aries, but this is someone that's taking leadership and moving forward. This is also dominant strength. Okay, this could also be someone that is a leader in what they do. Or someone that's just protecting a child. They've been protecting a child. This could be a father that's also a mother taking both roles. Who knows? Let's see. Or it could be a mother that's acting very masculine here, protecting her cubs, her interests. What's the Kama Dharma, please, Spirit, 30th of June? And we've got the love card, Gemini. So this is a love, a very important love union, everyone. Gemini, choice between two, expect messages. This will lead to a meeting, could be... Two people meeting halfway, emotionally or physically. Um, there is change. Moving house to a home that makes makes one feel more safe and secure, more stable. <clears throat> Sagittarius, I see, and Gemini, I think. So someone's thoughts have been holding... Uh, have been limiting forward movement remember mercury's moved direct gemini someone's been thinking very much they've been looking at both sides it's a 15 so either choosing between two people ending one relationship or a karmic chapter in their life and being open to what is next in their life sagittarius i see now they've seen they've seen the blockages 15 and 21 everyone 21 and 15 is also, it is uh, Saturnian, it is the devil, um, coming out of a toxic maybe connection, but also remember it is, it adds to a six. And yes, number eight, number eight is the strength card. It's also the infinitive, infinity symbol. 
and we've got the two signs of where the nodes are transiting gemini north node saturn uh, sorry uh, south node in sag remember that juno the commitment asteroid is there where we've made space we've shed something's been eclipsed concerning commitments now someone's seen they have seen the truth they have seen you know where their which adventure they're wanting to take but also letting go of what was holding them back anything karmic that was holding them back and they're successfully finishing up a cycle so we've got a six and a three if we add them together it's a nine which does speak to the hermit now sagittarius is jupiter everyone jupiter and mercury jupiter and mercury which those of you that will be uh, watching the month ahead of July, you will be see that Ju you will see that Jupiter and Mercury. So we've got the higher mind and the logic, or the truth and the logic. Both Jupiter and Mercury together can join. This is very much about intelligence, very much, but also conversations, expansive. Someone's now seen the light. Okay. Let's take three, three Sabilas here. Thirtieth of June, we have very much the Empress Donna Maritata, number twelve. She's sacrificed a lot. She is a mother, and she's got children. But remember that the Donna Maritata can speak to a wife and children, but also she's very much the Empress for me. And the Queen of Pentacles is the minor arcana of the Empress. Melancholy. So she's been stuck in the rut. She's uh, suffering from depression, uh, difficulties. She feels a sense of loss. We've got, uh, it's as though she's lost someone or lost, missed a chance. Or this is Five of Pentacles, which is a connection that is not in equality five of pentacles two people feeling left out in the cold or financially she's been suffering or anything like that remember that five of pentacles can speak to a, a love triangle to me or a same-sex connection or a big age difference which would speak to a twin flame uh, or karmic connection for me and we've got another 12 we've got two 12s so we get to see what was negative here nemika is the mask is falling off the mask comes off we're going to see a certain truth what the enemy was who the enemy was and it's interesting that we've got three females here a lot of recessive intuitive also energies wow someone has regrets there was a third person here okay past regrets someone felt imprisoned here until they see the truth they will be feeling imprisoned so the story goes on the saga goes on we've got 20 swords here someone's been stabbed in the back two times or someone's been trying to end a situation twice now this could be two people that are mirroring each other they could both be from other connections as well okay let's see what let's see what the gods have today everyone what is the message today from the gods the 30th of june so we have 8 12 and 7 is 19 20 there's a crisis this is a judgment the judgment card which does speak to Yes, aid coming through from Archangel Michael, a second chance, but there's going to be a crisis before the path opens to a second chance here. And we've got Artemis and Purity. So someone is aiming at something. As you can see here, we've got the bow and arrow, which is also Sagittarian energy. This is someone aiming for... Um, a, you know targeting something but doing things in integrity I do get Artemis purity that's what it says to me and number 19 19 is also Leo 
Let's read Artemis. We haven't had this message for a while. Artemis is the daughter of Zeus and Leto. She is the twin sister of Apollo and carries a golden bow and arrow with her. She is the virgin goddess of the moon, the wild nature, women and childbirth. Artemis is found in the wild parts of the na natural realm and she is the protector of all that is pure. She is referred to as a virgin goddess because her mind would never be owned by another. She is pure and whole within herself. This does speak to divine masculinity, if I could call it that, divine power. Artemis's presence in your cards today signifies the need for you to return to the wild and natural part of yourself, the part of you that could never be owned. And you know, she was a twin, Gemini. Gemini is the twin as well. Twin can speak to a twin flame, of course. The external world often seeks to civilize us. We learn to work and be productive members of society, but this often comes at the expense of our deeper selves. We disconnect from our raw intuition and instinct and thus become disconnected from life, acting out what we think we should do rather than trusting the deeper wisdom that comes from within. You may be feeling rather numb and tired at this time, feeling restless or that there is something missing. You may have been acting and making decisions on autopilot and feeling disconnected about what you need right now in order to restore balance. There is something missing, you. You have probably been emotionally rooted in the logic of what you can, can't, should or shouldn't do to the degree that you are no longer sure of the direction of your life. What's needed now is a shake-up of your self-imposed social constraints. Most importantly, risk is required, whether emotional, mental, physical, spiritual or financial. You must give up the part of yourself that is not listening to the deeper you. Only when you do that can you take the steps that will bring you back into alignment with your deeper nature and the part of you that will not be owned. This is a time for releasing external influences and obligations and seeking out the part of yourself that is natural and pure, the part of you that is connected to life and what is right for you, the part of you that is not focused on outcomes but on the journey of life, for the for it is here that you will find all answers, true wisdom and joy. So it looks like we are on a journey, everyone. We are on a journey. Let's take an energy oracle, just one, and close up this reading. Um, well, maybe a couple of love messages. I know that you look forward to those a lot. So 30th of June. 30th of June, please, Spirit, 30th. And we have indecision, number eight. There is that indecision coming up again. Someone being at a juncture, needing to make a choice. That number 22, that 22 keeps coming up. Venus in Libra, choices, opportunities, travel, separation, hesitation and decision. One card just fell out. I love, love, love you. This is the Nine of Cups, everyone. And well, with the 19, which does speak to Leo, someone is targeting someone's heart here. And this could also be very much. Some of those of you that are single, you could also be meeting a very important partner. Why do I say that? Because of the bow and arrow. Someone is aiming for you. Cupid uh, will bring you love. And we have. I needed more in my life. We did try, but we just couldn't find happiness. I'm sorry. Someone's fallen in love, so they're leaving a situation where they, there was no love. There was no emotional happiness. And we've got the Four of Swords. So someone's been heartbroken because of a love triangle here. Four of Swords comes after the Three. I can't stop thinking about you. I'm only breathing, not living without you. So we've got a 1721, everyone. Incredible. So 21 does equal a three. Again, we have the Empress. Last, last but not least, I need one more card on the Namika and the Jealousia, which does uh, add up to 20 swords here. And we have the Ace of Cups. 
and the Ace of Cups is pleasant conversations coming together. After a lot of challenges, the truth will bring a new beginning. Someone obviously could be filling their own cup if this is a separation. But what I see here is that there has been happiness in the past. It had to go through challenges with a melancholia, melancholy. There were truths. There were um, um, Neptunian energies where there was a lot of either deception or lack of clarity or fear, fear of the truth. Okay. And something's been trying to break down and end to close up that major cycle here. Having gone through the notions and the lessons, Ace of Cups, a new beginning. And with, with that, I will leave you. Thank you so much, everyone, for your patience. Look out for the July readings and the extended, of course. Love you so much, everyone. Ta-da.